Hello, my dear. Christmas and the new year are just around the corner. It is the most delightful time when we all wait for miracles. What kind of miracle are you waiting for? Think and answer yourself. What are you waiting for in the new year? What your soul wants very much. You need to know that whatever you wish, shamans know how to achieve it. Since ancient times in shamanic tradition, there have always been certain cosmic laws, by following which people attract real luck and happiness into their lives. Today you will learn how to decorate a New Year's tree properly. What is Christmas or New Year's Eve without a tree? You must agree that we cannot even imagine these holidays without one. Unfortunately, the tree is now only an element of home decoration. Sadly, a very deep magical meaning of this action, this sacred ritual, is lost. Yes, decorating a New Year's tree is a sacred, ancient ritual. Today, I will tell you how to make this ritual to bring happiness and good luck to your home. Okay, let's see. In all traditions, the New Year's tree has always been the embodiment of the family tree. Imagine that when you decorate a Christmas tree, you work with the energy of the family tree. The New Year's tree is a tree that connects the sky and the earth. When we decorate it, it's very important to observe certain energy laws. Let's mentally divide the New Year's tree into four parts. The lower branches of the spruce are the lower world, as the shamans call it, the world of the past, the world of the dead ancestors. The middle, the second layer of the tree, is the world of the present, the world of the goddess Ume, the patroness of all women and lineages. The third layer is the world of the future. The fourth layer, the very top, where the star usually shines, is the world of eternity. We will hang certain decorations on each layer. Dear, the trees that we find in the forest when we are in a place of power have special power. Shamans know special trees. We call them the shaman tree. There is a tree which gathers all energy, the strongest energy of this place. Then at the seminars, we decorate this magic tree. Naturally, your lineage receives much more energy from the holy places. Therefore, dear, come to our seminars where we will decorate together a New Year's tree, the World Family Tree, and take a ring around it for attracting cosmic energy, luck, and well-being to your lineage. I recommend you decorate the New Year's tree with your whole family. If you can't do it, then make certain decorations for all members of your family. You don't have to buy the most expensive and most beautiful toys. The important thing is that you put your energy and power into these toys. So the lower world is the lower level. Please think about the things you want to get rid of, things you want to leave in the past, in the past year. Maybe someone wants to leave an illness, maybe a difficult relationship at work, or maybe you want to leave problems at work. Or maybe a feeling of unfulfillment. What do you want to leave there? Take a piece of paper and write down what you want to leave behind. You can make a beautiful bow. Make an ornament out of paper and then hang it on a string on the lowest level of your New Year's tree. Sometime after the new year, it is very important to burn everything that you have written and hung on the bottom level without any regret so that it does not come into the new year. So, you make decorations 
and hang them on the bottom layer of your New Year's tree. The next layer, that's the second layer, represents the goddess of the present. Choose something delicious that you want to hang on the tree. It might be a little chocolate bar, or a yummy candy bar, or a cookie, or an apple. You can hang a tangerine. Hang something sweet on your New Year's tree and ask the goddess of the present, the goddess Ume, to keep something that you value very high, something you treasure. Maybe it's your health and your family's health. Maybe it's your happy partnership. Maybe it's your work, your home, your children, the well-being of your lineage. Ask her to keep it all in the next year. So once you've hung up and asked the goddess Ume to keep it, we move on to the third layer. This is the world of the future. What do you want next year? Maybe not just next year, but the next five or ten years. What goals do you have? After all, we address the god of the future. It is very important to make a toy with your own hands or hang a ready-made, bright, glowing toy. Maybe you will make some ornaments with glitter. Write your wishes on it, things you want for yourself, for the world, for your lineage. Address the God of the future with requests and ask him to fulfill your wildest dreams. So there's only the very top of the New Year's tree left. Your tree might be so tall that you need a ladder to get up there. Please, put a star on the very top of the tree. This is as a symbol of the blessing of the higher power, a symbol of prosperity for your whole lineage, the blessing of the God of Eternity, the God Tengri. Decorate the whole New Year's tree. Maybe it will not be heavily decorated with shiny toys, but it will be charged with your energy, your power. This is the real ritual. If you have a large family, and if you have the opportunity, you can take each other's hand and go three counterclockwise circles around the New Year's tree. This will be the embodiment of the fact that you let go all the troubles, all the difficult situations, all the conflicts, diseases, into the underworld, in the world of the past. Then, stop and make three circles clockwise. Maybe you will run, maybe you will walk slowly. It is up to you to choose. As you walk clockwise, feel the positive energy of joy, inspiration, good health, harmony, and the love of your lineage swirling around you. When you stop, take a look at the tree. This is your family tree. It's a projection on this New Year's Eve celebration. Be sure that after the New Year, you take off the wishes and appeals to the world of the past, to the god of the past from the lower layer of the spruce and burn them. Please, be very careful. Don't start a fire. The goddess Choctaw can be very active. Dear, if you still do not know the names of the deities that I was talking about, then be sure to read the book, The Call of the Spirits, Authentic Shamanism, and then you will definitely be able to make friends with them and understand much more about the world family tree. So, my dear, use ancient shamanic knowledge to attract the energy of good luck and success into your life. I will tell you many more secrets of what we should do on the eve of the new year and how to spend this period correctly so as to not miss this magical time. Wait for my videos.
It is important not only to study, but also to practice the acquired knowledge in a circle of like-minded people. We invite you to join the company of loving, open, and happy people in our classes and seminars.